That's why I wasn't on the TV. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Miss Thelma. <laughs> the house is dirty. Hello, Jane Janie. How y'all doing this evening? <laughs> Hey, ha. Hey, Jess Rabbit. Miss Caroline. Miss Myrtle. <laughs> Miss Teresa. KY Dove. Miss Joyce. Miss Mary. CB66684. Farm Wife. <laughs> Kate, let's see. Miss Lake, <laughs> let's leave it like that. Miss Slim, <laughs> Miss Sandra, Miss Janice. Did you get a baby in the mail like Miss Helen did? Uh, Miss Janice, I had uh, my baby for about three years now. Um, Miss your man got mine for me um, one Christmas. And it, it did come in the mail. It doesn't look quite as real as the one Miss Helen's got. But um, I named her Ava. And I've had her for three years. And she, she survived. <laughs> but I tell y'all what. I heard them say last night. Somebody say last night. Miss Helen better be careful leaving in the car. That's right, because that one looks so much like a real baby, they liable to be broke her window <laughs> out. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, bearded granny, hey, Miss Peggy, hey, Miss Mary. Oh, and I about through him. Miss Charlene, he's working on something, y'all. He's always working on something. Hey, Wilkes County boy. Miss mm. Gladys, Miss Trucy. Hey, Jim. Huh? Yeah, Miss Helen does love her baby. She sure does. I'm like y'all. I can't wait to see what Captain Hodges thinks about that baby. A uh, lady was a little jealous of that baby last night. Miss Karen, Danielle. Yeah, I was watching that. Yeah. Beaver down. Ooh. Miss Lake, that was the most real look. Yeah, it was a very real looking baby. He loved you, can't do Danny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, he might be working on another case. Y'all don't never know. <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh. Hey, for my I always thought, that even Tammy told me a long time ago that I would have been a good uh, detective. But I've also heard I would have been a good lawyer, too. <laughs> Miss Gladys, Miss Mary. Hey, Miss Mary, it's all right. I was sitting there being kind of quiet, getting the thumbnail, all the stuff ready. Hey, Joyce. Yeah, you see, hey, Miss Joyce. Thank you, Miss Thelma. It's uh, easy to miss somebody, so that's why I do like Bentley a lot of times and say, hey, y'all, because <laughs> I don't want to leave nobody out. <laughs> Oh, thank y'all for the <coughs> nice comments. Uh, I die. Thank you, Ha. Bentley helped me pick this one out. It's like that white one I had on. I, I must have, I ain't, you ain't heard nothing about Mama saying a name or nothing for the baby had. The baby's, no, the baby's name on the card was... E M M Y, I believe, on the birth certificate. But what T was saying last night was Miss Helen wanted a boy. So that name actually was a girl name 
and it was patterned by a girl doll, but Miss T made Miss Helen a boy doll out of it. So, um, I don't know how all that works, but, um, it is a boy, and I have not miss, heard Miss Helen say nothing about changing the baby's name or nothing, so I guess we'll have to stay tuned for that. Hey, Jesus, hey, girl. Yeah, hey, Miss Julie. And hey, Willie Joyce. <laughs> hey, Willie Joyce. Hey, Willie Joyce. Uh, not only you, but I believe, I think they more too, but I, I believe if I was stuck in the ditch, I believe you'd get out in the mud and help me push the car out the mud, uh, out the ditch. <laughs> I seen all your sweet comments last night, and I seen everybody's y'all and and uh, well that this that uh, hey y'all that helps you know the hey Godfrey. It helps when you're sitting there playing them drums and your back's hurting. <laughs> to to know that everybody loves what you're doing. Miss Candace. Yeah, he actually, I know y'all noticed, but he actually enjoyed himself last night now. That was the most he'd smiled in a long time. Hey, I, Miss Candace, the pastor's wife. Yeah, I'd look up there and those, it showed all those drums and it showed the little smiley faces and stuff and look over there at him and he'd be just a grin. <laughs> yeah. So I was glad he felt better, so he could he could smile more last night. You know that that woman that told me to get that uh, what is it uh, Advil? Advil migraine. Hey y'all, that is the best medicine. It don't matter if it's your back or your head. And uh, my back was hurting last night, but uh, I made it a lot better last night with uh, taking them. Oh, uh, I stopped one time and took two of them. I named my little baby Ava because um, we thought we was going to have an Ava, but our Ava turned out to be Huck. <laughs> that was a name my daughter wanted to use, but um, I liked it, so that's what I named my baby. I told Stephen and Christina they had a little baby sister. You know what, uh, Willie Joyce, when I'm like playing them drums like that, oh, uh, you know, it's stressful, you know. Uh, but like I can come sit down for just a few minutes. And it takes a few minutes to go away. But like in a few minutes, it'll completely quit hurting. And I can get up there and, and like on them intense uh, songs, that's what'll get it to going. <laughs> I didn't know Stephen was going to play, uh, mm -hmm. what's that last song he's doing? Uh, Free Bird? Yeah. I didn't know he was, when I was talking about I was going to play the last song, since it was going to be the last song. Uh, I didn't know he was going to play Free Bird, y'all. might would have just stayed sitting there. Mm. Pastor, uh, the pastor's wife, I'm glad you ain't scared of me. We got a <laughs> clean channel here. And we're going to have a clean channel, y'all. We ain't going to have no, we ain't going to have no uh, cussing and all that on this channel. And you know what? I say that, by the way, y'all. They are demonetizing YouTube channels about cussing right now, y'all, right now. That's going on right now. We just started. If you got, uh, uh, uh they, it, they would let you say some stuff and everything. But they, uh, they coming down on the people about cussing on their channels, and they demonetizing them. Which I don't believe in that anyway. You know, I believe in being respectful. Hey Denise, uh, yeah, just rabbit. That um, I got some Excedrin migraine too. I I take it for my back. It helps my back, but that. Advil migraine, it helps at all. It helps your back and your headache. Hey, yeah. You know what, uh, Trucy, uh, I think it was Tony Z that sent me some patches. But it's like kind of like my whole, my, like a pie plate in my back. So it's like muscles and stuff too, you know. Hey, Rusty Bucket. Good to see you back in there.
Okay, y'all, look what I bought. Mystery man today. Y'all be so proud. <laughs> this is strawberry. And it's a big box. It's not just three in the box. And look, he even got the blueberry. So he be in Pop-Tart business for a them, while. Them's the best kind of blueberry. I know. I started to get two boxes hey, of them. Up. You see what she's doing there, Grandma? That's... What you not supposed to do on YouTube? I know y'all just y'all just act like y'all didn't see them. You ain't supposed to do it. Sit there and do it. Come up. You know she ain't never understood what you're supposed to say and what you ain't yeah. supposed to say. Well, I didn't say what kind. Well, I said flavor and pop tart. I didn't say that they were the best kind you could buy. As far as my opinion was, YouTube, forgive me. I'm learning. <laughs> Yeah, you know, mm. uh, y'all coming over here sitting in this chair, I got an office chair and I was sitting in at the table. Because I used to sit at the table mm -hmm. a lot, you know, like all day long. But uh, every time we gave a crowd in here, they sit in that chair. Mm. I told Tammy not to let nobody sit in my chair because every once in a while I had to have a break and sit down. Not sit in, I had to be where I can relax. Yeah, but y'all, when company comes in and they sit down in the chair, I, I can't tell them to get up. Of course, we there was a young fella in it one night, and Danny didn't have a problem saying, all right, buddy, this is going to be your chair over here. He didn't say a word. He just got up and got in the chair. I had a good time, y'all. I could do it all again right now. Oh, I could do all the singing again right now. Thank you, Miss Janice. All right, watch how you say that, because you hadn't sang, and they want you to sing. Yeah, I could, yeah. <laughs> okay. He could do all the drum and playing again. He's going to surprise y'all one day, though, when y'all least expect it. But it's got to be him wanting to do it. I listened to them drums y'all last night, you know, uh, after the concert this morning, a little while. And I was playing them drums like pretty dead on. I wasn't. I didn't miss much, but I tell y'all, and I know this ain't no big subject, y'all, but uh, it it takes me two or three songs to get warmed up. Hey, Monique, Miss Joanne. Yeah, y'all. I can let y'all know on the next video what was the the most loved song out of that concert. <laughs> But it takes two or three days, you know, for that to get to where we can see that, you know. Hey, Dan. Miss Karen. Hey, Karen. Hey, Dan. Hey, Rusty Bucket. Thank you, Rusty Bucket. That's sweet. You and Jim and John say the sweetest things. Danny, why do all your videos say live? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you just have to look at the date, Loretta. I got them <laughs> saying live because they was film live. And, uh, and a lot of these people, they keep up pretty well, you know, uh, with everything. <coughs> Excuse so me. they, the ones that, the ones that, the ones that watch regular, they know what, what the difference is. Hey, y'all, let me ask you right quick. Have y'all have got any praise reports? I know we got a pile of prayer requests. I even got about four unspoken prayer requests that that we need to pray about. But I wonder if there's any on. I know Hunter came home. If Hunter's still home, then we still got us a praise report there. But how's the little baby doing that wasn't taking his bottle? Does anybody know? Yeah, Tina Madden's uh, kid right. boat. Yeah, it said Ryder, two weeks old, not eating. Yeah, I think it was some of Tina Madden's kin folk. Yeah, we want, we want a clean channel, y'all. I like that, ha. Huh? I'm claiming a healing for you, too. I'm so glad. I have to act right around Timmy, y'all. <laughs> and, um, I know, um, oh, shoot, 
Monique is a little better. I don't know how much better. My sister is in the hospital with secondary respiratory problems. Ooh, bless your heart. Okay, Miss Karen, I'll put her down here. <clears throat> you know, I got some stuff to tell y'all. Uh, no, just some little stuff. That last video of me and Timmy doing about the John Beret Ramsey. Uh, <laughs> did y'all know that there is not, nobody on YouTube that's saying exactly what I said? And I don't think nobody figured out exactly what I figured out. Uh... And I'll tell you this right here, and this is the way YouTube works, y'all. There's people that's book writers. And there's people that's book copiers, y'all, on YouTube. So, when, so, you'll see what I said on that video. You'll see it start breaking out. Oh. Uh, all over the internet. Oh, okay. That's the book copiers, y'all. And I can tell you all about Thank book. you, Tracy. I can tell you all about book copiers, y'all. Every video I have has been stolen. Hey, Bo. Just joined and be here. But, like, there's a good chance, y'all, that nobody's never thought of what I said on that video is what happened. Welcome, Bo. I mean, I don't even know if the detectives even thought of it, y'all. All right, that means I got a new subscriber. So some people are subscribing. Thank y'all. Thank you, Bo. I, uh, let me, I'll show y'all something. I had a, I had a big time. Oh, thank you, Miss Joyce. I had a big time YouTuber that, Oh, well, always, you know. You see that light right there? I made that for that green screen. I got two of them. That video wasn't up long, and a big-time YouTuber seen it, and they copied it. <laughs> I got two of them, y'all. You know? oh so, when, when you get on YouTube... Your stuff will get stolen. Your ideas will be stolen. There you go, Tammy. Well, y'all welcome to have all of my <coughs> ideas, y'all. <laughs> if I ever come up with any. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I'll just tell y'all. Oh, I said, uh. Super chat there, Tim. Yeah, Miss Joyce. I think it was Miss Joyce that done that while you was running off with the camera. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so y'all listen to what I'm saying now. If you went outside at your house and you started saving <laughs> peanuts and you was making money and your neighbor seen you was making money, guess what would happen? In the next few days... They'll set them up a peanut stand, y'all. <laughs> I, I mean, that's the way it is, y'all. I got it, PJ. Yeah, it is. It is stealing, but uh, oh, that's the way it is with YouTube. But uh, uh, that's the way it is, y'all. The big timers, uh, they are they are looking for that, you know. And like every, about every, y'all, I'm, I'm pretty well an original man. Uh, and a lot of the ideas that I have is original, you know, on my other channels, you know. But, uh, but they, they, people out there watching the, 
to start their own peanut stand. And whenever that John Beret Ramsey stuff, whenever they get a hold to it, you're going to see like all kind of new videos. Like for me shedding some light on that thing. I guarantee y'all, if you're making a, a little bit on something, <clears throat> you can believe they're going to have their own peanut stand pretty quick. <laughs> ha said she had seen several today already. And then they'll swear they Kathy. never seen your video. They'll swear they never seen it. Kathy B. I got something else I'll tell y'all a minute, but I want Tammy to talk a little more in this video, y'all. But I, I got something else. I a couple of things I'll tell y'all. Okay, I was just looking at <clears throat> the prayer requests. There's there's just so, so many Thank you, Russ Buffett. It's got a lot of prayer needs out there. And my sister, Dina, she's not feeling good. I talked to her last night and again today, and she's just not feeling good. So, we've got hey, to add her. Hey, sweet Monique. Hey, Monique. Hey, Jim. And everybody on I don't want to leave nobody out, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, that's why Ha said they just too many to name. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, all the YouTubers. That's right. Because <clears throat> I know it's easy if your name don't get called to feel like you're being left out sometime, but we don't mean to. Rusty, you might better shed some light about that, about your situation. Oh, Thank you, Willie Joyce. You say phone right out there? Believe me, it might be better just to go on and say something. Hey, hey, Linda, uh, that stuff takes, I, I don't even, I'm not even familiar about the four college students, but like I can study it, y'all, and, and you know what, believe it or not, y'all, uh, you can ask Timmy, I can kind of feel stuff, and I can kind of see stuff, too, uh, sometimes. That, the Joan Bennett Ramsey thing was kind of a tough one. Oh, thank you, Gina. So it, y'all, you know, it, it like took me about four days to figure all that out. And I was on it pretty hot and heavy, y'all. Like get, getting up the facts on it. That's right, Tammy Jean. Prayers for everyone. Hey, thank you, Gina. For that super chat. That's mighty sweet of y'all. Yep, it is. Thank y'all so much. And who was it that snuck one in there after we closed out the other night? Do you remember? What, baby? Somebody snuck a, a super oh, chat in after we closed yeah, out. Yeah, uh, that was uh, Kimber. Kimber. Thank you, Kimber. Yeah, y'all, after Tammy <clears throat> done fixed the video and... I actually don't shut down. <laughs> you know, the comments will go for a few minutes. And I was taking my laptop back over yonder and setting up. Maybe. I seen Kimba put in there a, another super chat. Yeah, and he told me about it. I was going to try to remember to say something, but thank you, Kimba. You've done a lot here lately, girl. Hey, y'all, I was watching my Chiefs a while ago. Oh, uh, they was winning. I still got it on, but I got it cut down. <laughs> oh, you got some good friends out there, Rusty Bucket. Nobody would make it on here without Sweet Manit now. I'm t just telling you.
Monique says, yes, I always hang back until people can't come in anymore. <laughs> oh. And y'all, Stephen, oh, Tim said he's over here washing clothes today. He, got he was just drying them over here. Oh, he was? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a washing machine over there in this camper, y'all. Oh. We got one in our camper, washing and dry, and we can <clears> never <throat> even use it. I don't think the people that had it before us ever used it. Thank you, Rusty Bucket. I had you want listed as one of our unspoken a while ago, but I, I see you letting farm wife know. I think she was uh, really can, concerned. Can you read uh, Rusty Buckets? He's telling y'all. Can you read that yeah. down for them? Rusty, I'm going to read it since you put it on here. It says, my mama is dying. She will die in the next few days. Hospice is there, and then she'll be with the Lord. So, yeah. So, we already knew y'all, but we was kind of it's not our, oh, uh, it's not up to us to yeah. be blasting everybody's business, y'all. Yeah. Some things just, just have to go unspoken until the people feel like telling about it. Yeah, and I'm like that sometimes. Sometimes, you know, like, we as people, sometimes we want to talk about something, sometimes we don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But we'll talk about it when we get ready, you know. Miss Flip Plop and Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there ain't another person got that name on <coughs> in the me. whole world. Miss Flip Plop and Pearls. <laughs> Nothing about like me. I love flip flops. Hey, candy boy. If I can get by with wearing them, it ain't 30 degrees outside. I'll wear them most everywhere I go except work. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all I keep up with things on the YouTube you know I'm like on top of everything I seen a guy on there the other day talking about uh, fake homesteaders like uh, I don't know I, you know I was listening to him and and uh I guess there's people that that live in tents. I mean, from the from the way it sounded, like the way he was talking, there's people that live in tents. But then they making you think they live in a tent and they homestead and got goats and sheep and all that stuff. But they actually got a camper there. The that diving you, stitches. <laughs> they got a camper there that you don't that you don't know about. And uh, I've already thought that, y'all. I've already thought that. That a lot of that's fake. And he said, he said there's a lot of it fake that he knew them. Like they, and, and I mean, even some of them like, might have a camper there, but then they got a house. They got a house they go to after that. After they make that video and go out there and do that work and stuff. Hey, Christopher, Joni, Annie. So this guy, y'all, he's been doing it a while. And I even kind of thought the same thing about him. Except he says he has a house in town. But, uh, I think he does stay there. I don't think the woman does, but uh, I think he does. I do miss Brandon. Do any of y'all watch that homesteading? Hey, Brent. That the homes. I don't watch the homestead and y'all too much. I pretty may well watch music, but I might watch bits and pieces of stuff. 
excuse me. <clears throat> but see, there's a, uh, PJ, there's a lot of people that, uh, it's called homesteading. Or they go buy a piece of land and and they making that like they living off grid, no electricity. Uh, and, and they lying about it. Yeah, Janice, it was, it went well because I prayed and Jesus, he pretty much took the wheel and he got us there and got us back home. And I appreciate all the prayers because I know that that is the only way that we got there safely and got back home. Hey, y'all, there's a bunch of them homesteading channels. That's like the big, great new thing. Hey, hey y'all, before they get through with all this homesteading, it's trending. But before they get through with it, y'all are going to be so sick of homesteading. <coughs> hey, love and life. Because it... They doing it and they all making money. That's why, y'all. They come up with their own <clears> peanut <throat> stand. One seen the other is making money. And they said, I'll, go, I'll buy some goats and sheep and ducks and, and I buy a, a $2,500 camper and act like I'm living off grid. <laughs> Hey, Rusty Bucket, it, it's fine. People love you, and they care about you, and, and, and they just wanted to know, and, and you chose to tell Farm Wife, and, and that's I know that's why you was kind of holding it back, but it's okay that people comment to you. Danny can still talk, and I can still look at the comments, and you're a big part of us, so we want them to be able to, you know, tell you they love you, and they're going to be praying for you. You don't worry about that. Hey, Monique, what I'm saying is, is there's people faking the homestead. Hey, y'all living with the light out of electricity and running water? That's tough, y'all. And what I'm saying is, is this man says that they ain't, that they lying about it. <laughs> Holly says she watches for cooking, canning, and chickens. <laughs> you definitely on the right track with chickens with Miss Helen and Stephen <laughs> and cooking. You know, in they all building tiny houses, y'all. Monique says she watches a lot of homestead. <clears throat> I do, Miss Karen. That Jimmy Swagger, oh, Lord, I can't never think of that. Expositor's Women's Bible, it's awesome. It has the scriptures, and then it explains the scriptures up under it. You you can't go wrong with that. I was watching somebody, y'all, live, about doing, like, living off grid. Angry Elf. And, uh... <laughs> I asked him, it was a live video, I asked him, I said, are y'all really off the grid? And he said, yeah. I said, you can't get power? You, you know, you can't get power lines, rain. He said, yeah, we don't want to. And then I asked a third question, you know, and this didn't happen all at one time. But I asked a third question and he didn't answer it. I asked him how much was his gasoline bill, and he didn't answer that. He didn't answer another question I asked. Hey, angry elf. And I, oh, uh, he wasn't answering no questions, so I finally quit. Hey, DJ, 20. Finally quit asking questions. <laughs> hey, Monique, I know that's right. I can't even know to keep up with it all myself, Monique. That's right. I hadn't watched the last two or three videos that Grandma nor Stevens done. I just hadn't had time.
So y'all, when you when you're watching that stuff, when you're watching that homesteading, just keep what I'm saying in mind, y'all. That like them people told me they didn't want electricity. And I, I know what it costs. I uh, sometimes I go camping where there ain't no electricity. Or not now because my motor home's got it uses the big gas tank. But I used to have like a a generator that wow, was DJ. that was separate, you know, uh, like a a store bought generator. And, it, and even when gas was cheap, like it's uh, it like cost twenty dollars a day just to run it during the day. But we was doing it because the air condition, uh, because we needed air condition, and then we cut it off at night. But it was twenty dollars a day. Uh, the gas is a big thing, y'all. Like living off grid. And and I already had suspected that, y'all, that it, a lot of it was fake. But this guy, the the guy I'm talking about that was talking about it, I mean, he spilled, hey, the, he spilled the beans on everybody, y'all. Mm -hmm. And he knows them. He knows them, y'all. I'm coming. They come to his house. Thank you, Miss Judy. And hijacked off of his video. <clears throat> Y'all know what I'm saying, I Jack? They would come, he, he's pretty big time, and they would come to him and use him for subscribers. And he let them do it, y'all. And then they turn around and try to eat him alive against him. Hey, Miss Ann, I don't know who he's talking about. Are you talking about the guy that dresses Omnish, but it's not Omnish? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know nobody like that. Okay, Teddy Smith. But I'm just saying, y'all, before you go to feeling too sorry, just keep in mind what I'm saying. Go back and see what Teddy Smith's message says. Timmy, okay. Hey, Sue. Hey, Rona. Yes, he is, Miss Rona. Hey, it's too far back up. It, it is? Yeah, it's a long way it back is. up. Long way back um, You got it. Teddy, if you don't mind, would you, would you repost that? Danny says it's too far gone. I'm sorry. You know the the channel. I don't want to mention the guy's channel, but I didn't even I didn't even know the people he was talking about. But I do, <clears throat> y'all. I do like have some kind of an ESP thing, and uh, and I already knew that a lot of that was fake. I already knew it. You. You hear somebody say they don't want electricity hooked up? Who, who in their right? I mean, if you got electricity hooked up, <laughs> you don't have to use it. That guy quit answering questions, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to look to see that post when it comes back on. They come one time and go none up. Uh, they did unhook mine and Tammy's electrician. They liked to be in a fight, y'all. And they would have been in a fight except the man went running up the road, left his truck and everything. <laughs> hey, Miss Landa. <laughs> Somebody tell you, I don't want no electricity? <laughs> you better stop and think about that. <clears throat> Yes, they are rusty. <laughs> You're probably right, Miss Kathy. Hey, 
And y'all, Stephen actually loves all them animals and stuff. And uh, I've even told him to get some, cause, but hey, y'all, he just ain't had the extra money, you know. But he actually, he he had all that stuff, y'all. Them hogs and all that stuff. I, I myself don't care nothing about it, but he does. And my brother was like, <coughs> my brother, he had all that mm. stuff, and he and they wasn't even no camera around you. And, and like I say, Stephen likes all that stuff. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you would want hogs that earn a pen. But Stephen likes all that stuff. I hear you, Monique. I want electricity too. And when you when you hear somebody saying they don't want electricity, you better stop and think. They should just say they don't want to pay for electricity, which is probably true. Yeah, but Timmy, here's what I'm saying. If you shut all the electricity off in this house, that meter right there won't spin. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. I you got know, you. Just because, just because you got electricity, I mean, they don't want electricity because they don't need it. Yeah. It's part of the show, y'all. No, Teddy, I still hadn't seen it. Uh, we, I scrolled back up a long way, Teddy. Just write it again. <clears throat> um, they did write it again, but I didn't see it the second time either. No. This guy said some of them people was for real, y'all. He said some of them was for real. He said, but 80% of them's faking it, y'all, about the off-grid homestead and things. said, 80%. And y'all, this guy knows. Yeah, people on YouTube. It, you know, uh... Mardell, they talking about homesteading. You know, that goes back to, if I, like I was saying, mm -hmm. if you got a peanut stand sitting out in front of your house and you making money, you can expect more peanut stands to be put up in your neighborhood. That's just the way it is. Yeah. I hadn't either, Ha, but thank you for saying that. So, if they making money, y'all, they're going to be getting some company quick. And uh, the problem where I have is they lying. I, I mean, I don't. that's the part I don't like. You're welcome, Mardell. But that, that ain't something I watch anyway, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Ha. As a matter of fact, I had got where y'all were. I didn't even watch you two. But I kind of got started back. I kind of got started back watching. Yeah, <laughs> Willie Joy. I hear that, Willie Joy. <laughs> hey, hey, Willie Joy. Just because <laughs> you got electricity to the light, you can always switch the light off. That's when you know somebody's lying, see? When he's saying, I don't want no electricity. You don't have to use it. Yeah, DJ, we got to have some air conditioning, too. Hey, y'all, that air conditioning's got to be something <clears throat> else when, when my youngins is little on everything. You're welcome, Rusty. I don't, I wanted my youngins to be air conditioned. And uh, y'all, me and Tammy went to schools where they didn't even have air conditioning. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, want to do my youngins like that. But we, we went. Uh, I've seen more fights get started about a fan in the room. Some people want the fan on them, and some people don't want the fan on them. 
And they would, I, I, they would be fights all the time. I hear you, Peter. Yeah, that, hey, that off grid is tough, y'all. I mean, you go camping. And like, it might not too, be too bad for a while, but like, you get tired of not being able to, to get in warm water. And, uh, like running the generator, y'all, it's all right for emergencies, but that ain't the way you want to live your life. And a generator, I wouldn't doubt, probably, Okay, probably rusty. eighty, probably eighty dollars a day to run a generator now, eighty or ninety dollars, I imagine. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't doubt a hundred dollars if if it was running twenty four seven. Hundred dollars a day, y'all. Good night, Rusty. We'll be praying for you. Yeah, solar panels. Yeah. Hey, y'all, that guy didn't say, that guy didn't say everybody was fake. He said 80% was fake of the homesteaders, that 80% was fake. He said they, he said they have camper off to the side. They go to hotels and take showers, do they? Well, that's nice, Peter. Hey, yeah, y'all. I'll listen to what I'm saying now. I ain't saying every single one of them doing it. That guy didn't say that, y'all. He said 80% was fake. Well, some of them do it because they want to make a video. Well, that's the whole thing, Tim. Yeah. That's the whole thing. I don't want to make a video bad enough to act like I'm <laughs> I don't think <laughs> <laughs> I can find something else to talk about besides being off-grid. <laughs> And more power to them if that's what they want to do. Yeah, y'all, me and Timmy, we have been camping a many a day without, you know, without a camper. We sure um, have. A many a day. But, like, when you start getting older. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, even Grandma has went with us, you know, uh, like for seven or eight days, like on a sandbar on the river. Like the whole family. Yeah. I could always gather a crowd of people, y'all. I could always get, uh, I could always get a, a crowd of people together. Okay, thank you, Love and Life. Okay. Nobody said, uh, Love and Life said she don't see the message neither, so. Apparently it didn't come through, so. Oh, boy, we used to love that camping then. That's where we go on vacation, but y'all, we, we didn't have no money, y'all. We couldn't go on the kind of vacations that most people go on. We couldn't do it. We didn't have the money. We didn't have the money to do it if we wanted to. I, oh, there it is. Please pray for my granddaughter. She lost her baby boy yesterday afternoon because the cord was wrapped around his little neck. Oh, I'm so sorry, Teddy, and I'm glad you're glad that your message got through. And we sure will pray for him. I'm so sorry. Mm. That kind of just takes the speech right out of you, don't it? <laughs> um, but anyway, there's a lot of things in life that that happen that are that are just heartbreaking. That's why we keep praying. Hey DJ, I I've seen you talking about it before. Uh, I've seen you talking about that before. These people's got a camera in front of their face, y'all. 
is the dip is the difference. I understand, Teddy. I bet you are scared. Hey y'all, hey Jim, hey y'all, I just don't like my people like being fooled. Uh, and that's the reason I tell y'all a lot of stuff I do. I, I don't like lying y'all. Yep, there's a lot of things in life that I can overlook. But I can't stand the thief and a liar. And I pray a lot for them. They get a lot of prayers. Because they need prayers. My buddies used to have parties. Me and Tammy didn't ever have parties, y'all. But they used to have these things called keg parties when we was young. And, uh, they were people come over there and steal everything they had. Like the come, people coming to the party. I had a... I don't want a big old crowd coming here when we singing and doing them concerts. I don't mind a few of my close friends come, but I don't want a big old crowd of people. Yeah. When we were... Well, I think this was before we got married. I can't remember. But anyway, I had a birthday party for Danny we had it in an old school gymnasium and I mean he never liked a bunch of presents and stuff and a bunch of people so we only invited I only invited a few people well by the time them few people got through telling everybody there was a pile of people there and he got other than what I gave him he got one nice birthday present and somebody stole it before we could get it and take it home. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, no, I don't remember it. It was a shirt, and they stole the shirt. <laughs> well, y'all, I could always get a crowd of people. Always could get a big crowd of people. Yeah, I don't like a big crowd either. Um, you know, I told y'all about I had a buddy asking me about, you know, we would be at that mud ball and they, we would have a hundred people with us. And he was asking me about uh, me backing away from everybody. But like a lot of people like be trying to talk to me, y'all. Hey, Miss Linda. I was, I was popular, y'all. And everybody wants to come up and talk to me. And I don't like talking all that, you know. I don't like talking all the time like that. Wilkes County boy said Google has done lost their mind. <laughs> yeah. I think he's talking about all. Oh. I think he's talking about like, uh, some of them, Tammy, you probably don't even know, some of them like talk into a mic or something or their phone and it, it writes what they say. Oh. Test. Tammy, can you please pray for Tess, granddaughter? I know her pain. I sure will, huh? I got you. So y'all, during that crowd of people, I would always start kind of backing off. And this guy that was asking me about what you know about me doing that, he was he was somebody smart, y'all. And he and uh. I sort of tried to play it off, but he he said no. Nah. He said no. Nah. I watched you. He said I watched you. He said I've noticed you a bunch of times. You like backing away. Oh, uh, that's it. Seven boys and one girl in my family. Probably why I don't like crowds either. <laughs> hey, Peter, you you got a good point there. I can tell you. I got me some hot chocolate here, but it, it about ain't hot no more. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're going to take just a minute. 
um, had a bunch last night. Got a bunch from the last few videos that we done, but right now we got Karen's sister in the hospital and Miss Mary's family because her cousin died. Sander Creekmore, my sister Dina, DJ28, <clears throat> got unspoken. And um, I have, one of those was Rusty Buckets. The other one is somebody else's, another YouTuber. And unless they feel free to disclose, it'll still be unspoken. And then Teddy's uh, granddaughter. Lord, we just need to pray for that whole family. But let's pray. Dear Lord, we ask you right now, take all these prayer requests. And this little baby, Lord, that's not taking its bottle because it was born in addiction, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that you would touch this little baby's body. You will heal it, Lord. You will take the addiction away from it and help this little baby be able to eat and have a strong, healthy life, Lord. We pray for all these who have lost people, Lord, and these who are fixing to cross over to be with you, Lord. We just ask that you just strengthen them like you did our family, Lord, when Aunt Joan met you, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that you will... You will continue to strengthen and bless and uplift and humble the ones that need humbling, Lord, and draw the ones close to you that need to be drawn close to you. But when it comes to children, Lord, it's just, and the elderly, it's just such sad things. We, we love them, and, and we don't want anything to happen to them, but I know whenever you get ready for us, Lord, that we're going to be with you whether we ready or not. But dear Lord, I just pray that you will strengthen all those family members. I pray especially for Rusty Bucket since he can't be there with his mother right now, Lord. It's, it makes things more difficult, Lord. But dear Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you will just strengthen everybody. And um, Teddy's granddaughter, Lord, I, I, I just ask you to just uplift that whole family, Lord, and strengthen them. That, that's just a terrible thing. I know that that baby's in the arms of Jesus now. I know that. But there's a big void there, Lord, that, that only you can feel, Lord. And we just thank you so much for everything that you do for everybody. Touch my sister. Help her feel better, Lord. Continue to strengthen Ha and Dublin and, all, and Monique, all them that's been sick. Tony Z, County Boy, I mean, there are just so many, Lord, I can't name them all, but you know each and every one of them. We pray that right now in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, if y'all have some more, then that's, that's fine. I'll write them down too, but I just felt the need to go ahead and pray. Thank you, Farm Life. Okay, Danny, you can talk if you want to. I woke up all of y'all, go y'all. And uh, Timmy done had it over there on True Crime. I had to get it off of that channel, y'all. Because, like, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, my mind just going with y'all. I had to get it off of that channel. <laughs> She was waiting for football to come on. I got it, Candace. I had to get it off of that channel. Yes, I already have Candace because I had it before too even though things have changed some in your family, but um, I will definitely be, be praying and still be praying. Thank you for, for reminding me. Hey, DJ, I see that. You didn't, you didn't hear nobody saying exactly what I said, did you, DJ? DJ said she watched all them John Benet stories last uh -huh. night.
I don't know that anybody figured it out, y'all. I mean, I, I know that these people say she done it or he done it and all that, but I ain't heard nobody say exactly what I said and why she done it. Sorry, Tasha. We'll be praying for your family, too. Maybe I pronounced that right. Y'all, you know, y'all, most most of what I watch on YouTube is music, y'all. That bucket head. <laughs> hey, he, you know. You see uh, DJ's comment? What's that? Uh, I see it says today. Oh. But I don't know what right that means. Right here. Yeah, I don't know about nobody getting paid off. I don't know about getting nobody getting paid off. Go listen to that last thing I said, DJ. On that video, listen to the last thing I was talking. I said it two or three times. You know, and I kind of don't mind saying it here because it's separate from the other channel, y'all. Uh, that an accident happened on that video. An accident. Somebody accidentally knocked somebody with a flashlight. And it fractured her skull, y'all. And if they would have took her to the emergency room, somebody would have been getting handcuffs put on them at the hospital, going to the jail, fixing to go to prison. Do y'all understand why this... I, you know, I asked Stephen and Tammy, did they understand? You know what I mean? She couldn't take her to the hospital, y'all. I, I, she could have. Yes, he did, Monique. But I, she was going to go to prison, y'all. Right from the hospital. She was going to go to jail. And it had to happen the way it did to try to avoid jail. Yeah, I like that music, Monique. <laughs> hey, Monique, I'm a music man. I, I mean, I like all that Star Wars music and what you, do you call that classical theme? Oh, I don't know. You know, like the Gunsmoke <laughs> theme? Man, I listen to that thing. That, uh, we watch Gun, I watch it a lot. lot. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of the news, y'all. And, uh, we can't control them people, that news. We can't. What? What? It. We've lost it, y'all. Yes, he was tired this morning. I woke up and I saw just a minute of it while I was fixing some coffee, and he looked really, really tired. Yeah. DJ, you, you seen that video, DJ 28, the one I made about that on this channel? And, you know, uh, y'all, uh, I don't think nobody's ever put together exactly what I put together last night. Uh, you know, well, me and Tammy made the Joan Bonet rant. I, I ain't seen nobody say that, y'all. Yeah, I don't like the news either. Yeah, you know... I'll be right back. Hey, Jim, here's the thing about the news. The news is whatever they say it is, y'all. The facts don't matter. The news is whatever they say it is. You'd like to be thinking like somebody's done lost their mind. And especially me, y'all, I'm... I'm sitting there watching, and I'm listening carefully. Hey, y'all, when Stephen left last night, when he left out of here, he, he went to the huddle house. So I, I imagine he was tired. <clears throat> 
Well, I went over there to see what the ending of the game was. And it's and already gone off and another one's coming on. So, But I, I know the Chiefs won. There ain't no way the Raiders come back and went around them. So, DJ, I wasn't talking about the concert. Hey, let me tell y'all something, Dick. Let me tell y'all something that's going to happen. That's something you're going to see. You know, y'all, that, that Slash, he's the king of the guitar hill right now. Y'all, he is the king. But, son, that guy named Buckethead can play circles around him. It just ain't, you know what I mean? It's going to take a while to knock that legend out. <laughs> but he will knock him out. He will knock him out of the saddle, y'all. That Buckethead will knock Slash out of the saddle. You can count on it. Yeah. When y'all watching the news, y'all? PJ looked up. You watching? Head. You watching PJ looked up. You watching people with a camera in front of their face. <laughs> hey, I agree. He's a strange guy. But he can play, y'all. He's very few guitar players that I listen to. I just sit there and just listen to guitar playing. But I will him. And uh, Tammy, too. She, I've played her some, some of his stuff two or three he's times. He's good. And I don't even know nothing about it, but he's good. I don't care about somebody just flamming on the drums and doing a drum solo. And I don't care nothing about like somebody doing no hour and a half guitar solo. But that bucket head, he's different, y'all. Kathy wants to know what year that happened to John Bonet. I think it was 1996. <laughs> Been all these years, y'all. DJ, I know what you're saying, but um, and some men do me too, but he's just a man with a bucket on his head. <laughs> But he can sure play that guitar. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean? I think he's probably a good guy. He just don't want nobody to know who he is, y'all. Oh, yeah, and a mask. I forgot about the mask. That's right. He just, uh, he don't want all the fame, y'all. But I bet you he's as nice a guy as you ever would want to know. I bet you money. Well, I mean, we might find that one day, you know. The Chiefs won. Oh, thank you. Wilkes County won. I felt like they did, but, you know, it was time to do a video, and y'all was the most important thing right this minute, so it had been a while. Hey, Mardell, he, he gets on there, and he's got a <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken helmet on his head. <laughs> Ain't a mask. But I... But I've never, I've never seen somebody so skilled and talented, and he wrote what he's playing. So y'all, he ain't just playing something that somebody else, uh, done. He's making up what he done. And if he can, if he can hold my attention, y'all, oh. if, if, if he can sit there and play a guitar and hold my attention, he's doing pretty good because, like, just somebody just playing ain't, ain't enough to hold my attention. Now, I watch, now, a concert or something like that, I'll watch it. But, like, somebody just sitting there playing a guitar, um, he he amazes me, y'all. He amazes me. Uh, he amazes me. I like to sit in the chair and listen to him with my eyes closed. Just relaxing. 
<laughs> Y'all look up. Uh, like one of the best songs it's got. Oh, excuse me. Is look up Buckethead uh, in the name of his song, which is. Guitar, Wilkes County boy. Guitar. Is a uh, sooth Sayers. Sooth Sayers. If you want to go check him out. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all have. I know because I've talked to him about him before today. I know a lot of y'all's looked at him. But y'all, that's I watch stuff like that, y'all. I don't I don't hardly watch uh I don't hardly watch stuff like what we're doing right here. <laughs> Have you ever seen him without his bucket? Nobody's never seen him. Well, DJ28 says, and you can see him without his bucket. Yeah, if you... I'd done some digging, y'all. I found out what his real name was. Yeah, and that's they, what DJ was saying. And they do have a picture of him, you know. But, y'all, he just... He just don't want to be like Elvis. And he is going to be... He is, He's the man now. It's just everybody don't know it yet. But he is going to be the man one day. And I see y'all talking about that T-A-J -T ferret. Hey, he's good too, but y'all, this, this guy I'm talking about is the greatest guitar player that's ever been born, without a doubt. Like nobody is even close. Yeah, it, you know, it, it amazes me y'all oh, it's how them people can can uh like get that good before they even twenty years old. Fifty's young, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. I used to didn't think it was, but it is. Yeah, I've seen his face, y'all. But he just don't oh, he don't wanna me. be like Elvis where he can't even go to the store. I heard that. No fame and fortune is worth all that. You know, y'all Elvis, I probably couldn't tell y'all too much about Elvis, but he would like rent a place, rent a movie theater, you know, or wherever he went, y'all, he would, uh, you know, he would get it where just him and his people was there. <clears throat> and then they couldn't even hardly do that. <clears throat> Miss Myrtle. But I don't blame him for, I don't blame him for uh, not wanting to be famous. Because I'm the same way, y'all. When I back away from this. <laughs> Thank when, you, love and laugh. <laughs> when I back away from this video right here, y'all, that's what I want to do is back away. Excuse me. Grandma thinks I like to go down there and get on her video, y'all. I don't, y'all. But she thinks that. <clears throat> A lot of times I go out there and help Stephen. I don't hear him. He's not talking much, you know. And I'll go out there because... John is missing, ain't he? He might be asleep again. Hey, Dennis, uh, was it hard for you at first? You talking about getting my channel going, Dennis? My first uh, YouTube channel? Help me keep an eye out for Dennis, what he's asking. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hey, no, I wasn't, Dennis. I made a video, y'all, and, uh, Y'all know I've invented that TV antenna. And I made a video of it, and uh, 
I put it on uh, Facebook, and there was just thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching it. Because that's that's like an old antique car, you know, that oh. was brought back to life, the antenna business. Thank you, Monique. And, and people were sharing that video, y'all. And uh, to y'all YouTubers out there that want to try to get started on YouTube, you got to have people sharing that video. You got, you got to have help, y'all. You can't make, it, you can't make it without anybody helping you at all. But it ain't it. Uh, YouTube's a tough game, y'all. Y'all continue to remember Rusty. I know y'all just saw him. Monique said his mama passed, but. No, oh, it's a good thing that she didn't have to keep suffering. So hey, Tony. Just pray for him, because he needs it. And see, so, y'all, when I had a certain video, it wasn't exactly showing you how to make that antenna, but it was a video showing you what it will do. And then them people was coming to my YouTube channel, and it was pretty much uh, right here in uh, my hometown is where it started. Good night, Miss Mary. Thank you for watching. I know it's late in some places. So they was all coming to that YouTube watching. And uh, I had somebody from YouTube help me. I think it was a woman. She was sending me messages, y'all. Hey, hey, Tony Z. Hey, she was guiding me. Well, because I was, I was nobody, y'all. This woman was guiding me, and she said this, she said, I remember like the first message I got from her, and, and it wasn't in an email, it was just like show up on the back side of my YouTube, like where they ain't even supposed to be a message. She had a message. She said, this video right here is doing better than all the other videos put together. So she kind of got me in the right right direction. And then now I know y'all. Hey, Miss Ann. Y'all, I'm so glad that all of you's in here. We got 220 people and $29.99 in Super Chat. I'm a $29.99. Oh, I touched it $229. <laughs> no, $29.99. <coughs> That's good. Hey, Joyce, what's, what you upset about, Joyce? Probably about Rusty Bucket's mama. And yeah, that, that and bothers Katie me. Smith's grandbaby, and I mean that bothers me. Like for so, like one of the main YouTubers look like to be upset. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Hey, Dennis, I do a lot more than. Good night, Miss Joyce. We understand. I do a lot more than. Then everybody real nobody realizes y'all. I do a lot more than I'm talking about on grandmas and Stevens and all that. I do a lot more than everybody realizes. Hey Miss Pat. And grandma, she don't need you to tell her too much. You know, she's got a she's got a fan base. Thank you, Rusty, for letting us know. We'll be praying for you, buddy. We sure will. Hey, Pat. Never did find out what was wrong with Joyce. I think it was just that she was upset about Rusty's mama. And... Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. And then Teddy Smith's granddaughter's baby. I mean, it's, it's just a lot. Some people... Can hey, take a lot. Hey, you know <clears throat> what, y'all? We can 
we can be on top of the world one day and be feeling like we got everything all figured out and then and then the next day it won't even be twenty four hours and 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 like feel like uh you know like what in the world you know what's to happen you know <laughs> Hmm. All right, Karen, I see your <laughs> comment. <laughs> hey, Karen, you know that there's new people all the time. And even even people being in here, uh, they don't always hear everything you say. Grandma Buckeye. Yeah, I got Grandma started, <clears throat> Monique. I spent, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours talking to Grandma and showing her everything. That's right, Jane Janie. Jamie gets so aggravated. <laughs> yeah. Miss Karen, y'all think y'all hear it a lot. You ought to be in the house with him. <laughs> but I saw your little laughy face with the little, well, laughing so hard you had tears coming out of your eyes, so I know you was cutting up. But... <clears throat> hey, Grandma Buckeye. I started watching your mother's videos, Danny. Been seeing the one video of her pushing a rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, hey, pushing that rock, rolling that rock, you know. <laughs> I know them guys that come up here and help her with the rock. I know she was glad to see him, even though she first told him no, she could get it. <laughs> oh. Hey, y'all, I know everybody don't like me. Excuse me. But Dace, it's always been like that, y'all. There's a few women that like really like me. It's, I mean, it's been like it's in real life. There's a few women like that really like me. But then there's a few that like don't don't like me. And it's, that's something, and I know the type that like me, and I know the type that dislike me. I know the, I just ain't going to say y'all, but I know the ones that don't, I know the type they are that don't like me. Jim, I know it's late where you and Monique sat. Y'all troopers, I tell you. Hey, I ain't, I ain't worried about it, Karen. It, that's been like that my whole life. Excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> We're on the game, see you. I see you. Thank you, Miss Garfer. <laughs> Danny, we love you. <laughs> Pop tarts and water. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I see it a bunch of times. Let's start to take that out, that part out of that video. Oh, Miss Patty. She's about to be a great grandma. Congratulations. The women that usually like me, y'all. I'm talking about oh, over the years. Excuse me, y'all. Over the years, the women that like me, love me. Believe it or not, you can ask Tammy. Or we'll get Tammy to tell you right now. Tammy don't lie, y'all. <laughs> what about Tammy? That's right. And the ones that don't like him, don't like him. But they few and far between. But it's all right. They, some folks don't like me. Cause that's their loss. <laughs> Cause I'm funny sometimes, <clears throat> and I can sure pray for you. 
It's like I told somebody at work. We got a new quality lady because our quality man that had been there for so many years, his last day was Friday and wasn't too long. The lady came and asked me something, the new quality lady, and I told her, I said, well, you, if you need help, I'll be <laughs> glad to help you, but you can't listen to everybody. I said, it won't take you long to figure out which ones you can't listen to. Y'all, I help Timmy figure out stuff that like goes on at work <clears throat> and stuff. I help her figure out stuff. That's right, Monique. Water will be around for a long time. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, PJ, man, you also can like go to Home Depot and get a, a fence rail pole. They got they got poles in the back. Back there where the fence is, the metal poles. I'm sorry. Hey y'all, I team where Timmy works at. I can tell I could tell by talking to her. She was like real good at that job, y'all. Real good, you know, like Oh trust me, I can tell it. I could tell it. And I was asking her how she how she got the brain of an engineer. Uh, you know, <clears throat> how she knew stuff the engineers, you know, knew. I asked her <laughs> one day. You remember what you told me? No. You know the man that uh, liked you? Yeah. The, he was a man that liked Timmy. He was an engineer. And, uh, said he liked her a little bit too much, y'all. He, he one day crossed the line. And, uh, and then he was gone from that place out there. Timmy don't play that stuff. There's one man in Timmy's eyes. And only one. <laughs> That's right. But anyway, I learned a lot. And I do know a lot. <laughs> so, see what Karen said? I answered the phone one day and... Yeah, somebody thought that she had a man in her room because yeah. the old mouth was going on the video. Hey, that's... <laughs> That's a lot here too, y'all. Team will uh, call me sometime at work and ask me who's who's Who that. Who you talking to? <laughs> It'd just be you two, please. You call down that grandma's, you can tell she's watching you too. I can't find the remote control to cut it down. <laughs> <coughs> But y'all, uh, that's right, farm wife. I just interrupted Timmy about she was telling y'all about. Oh, her job out there. And I could tell by the way she was talking, she was real. She really knew, knows her stuff. And Demi, I think I'm going to get on out of here and let you talk to them and finish up and give you a little bit with a time with them. That's right, DJ. I understand. Sorry about that. Can't take you by surprise. So, y'all, I'm going to get up and back off here and leave y'all with Timmy. Y'all help her out. Uh, y'all help her talk, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, my daddy's name was Prescott. Prescott Graham. Hi, y'all. <clears throat> All right, Danny. What was that? The chair. <laughs> Trying to take the chair with him. I telling you bye. <laughs> no, I, I love my job, and I used to love it a lot more than I do now. But May the, I think it's the 23rd of May, 
if the good Lord tarries and I, I stay around here and there, I'll be there 30 years. And somebody that can't learn the show in 30 years, they got a problem. Because them new folks that they bringing in there paying a lot more money, uh, they uh, think they can learn the show in two weeks. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's all right. I'm good at what I want to do. I just want to be left alone, let me finish out my time, do my job. But, but if you come ask me something, that's what that new engineer lady said. She said, I've not seen very many places where you got somebody that don't, it don't matter who they talking to, they gonna tell you what's right, whether you wanna hear it or not. And I said, that's right, Chantel, that's the way I am. It don't matter from the plant manager to the uh, person that sweeps the floor. If you ask me, I'm gonna tell you the right answer, whether you like it or not. That's just the way it is. And a lot of times they don't like it, but they'll learn to live with it. Hey, uh, I heard Timmy. Yeah, I heard Timmy <laughs> saying something. Remind me of something. She was talking about. You said that like, people go out and think they're gonna be doing it in two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. That's the way roofers is, y'all. Like a new man to come. And we use nail guns now, y'all. And uh, you don't have to be fast with a hammer. And uh, it they and, and I've seen. I don't know how many times. And you know, they don't realize, they like the man at the bar thinks he's telling the woman something she ain't never heard before, and they're all saying the same thing. Uh, they think, they look at you going fast. I mean, just like smoking them, boy. Like I could smoke somebody nail with a hammer. And they think just because they see you doing it, that they would be, they'll tell you I would be able to do that. I'll be able to do that in a week. But it it takes a long time to get faster than that hammer, y'all. Did y'all know that Timmy has nailed on a mini a shingle? <laughs> <laughs> I sure have. Yeah, that's probably right, Wilkes County boy, but what, what I know and what I've learned, for the most part, I just keep to myself now. Over the years, a lot of things happen, and I'm the type that I'll help anybody, and I'll do anything that I can to help somebody, but when I tell you don't come to me and don't ask me that anymore that's what i mean and i pretty much have to say that a lot at work now i gotta find somebody else to get it out of you know the thing about timmy y'all is i would hear her talking about people coming and asking her questions And I don't mind helping people. I um I do work with a computer. I I have done all but probably about six jobs out there that's on our end. But right now I am a inspector. I finally inspect what goes out the door. I mean, I touch everything that goes out the back end of our door on our end. And I like what I'm doing. I miss something every now and then. But that's all right. I'm human. Yep, Stephen's a good roofer. Tell County Boy that Stephen can nail with a hammer too fast. County boy, Mr. Man said Stephen can nail with a hammer fast too. He can. He is he is good and Danny's taught him a lot and he's he listened and he learned and he's good. I don't know if he'll ever roof again or not, but 
He has it if he wants to do it. We make, um, of course, I can't say a lot about it, but we make um, EHV servo valves that goes on airplanes and helicopters. We do commercial and military work, and we have a missile in, but that's about all I can say about it. It's called Parker Airspace. It's a good place to work. It used to be a great place to work. Now, oh, Danny told me a while ago that I haven't seen them, but says Stephen has a lot of blisters on his hands. So, that was from tying those zip ties, but... No, baby, the blister's gone. It's me. Oh. But Danny said the blisters were gone now. It's meat, but anyway, he messed his hands up pretty bad. <laughs> Tying them zip ties. Yeah, no more. On Grandma's video. <laughs> yeah, DJ, yes, he did. That day, tying them zip ties. Yeah, that day, G uh, DJ, tying them zip ties. Wilkes County boy, that's about the way you have to do. Um, a lot of times they say they want they want that, but it don't do you any good. Not a bit in the world. Hey, Miss Kathy, we've had a lot of people leave and go to Warner Robins uh, Air Force Base. A lot of people. Laid block for Clayton Holmes. Ah, PJ done that. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't eat a Wilkes County boy. I had to concentrate on just staying on the roof <laughs> and not falling off, but... I've been up, been up there years ago when we was younger helping. Hey, blooming. <laughs> Connie, yeah, that can get a little overwhelming sometimes. But um, my heart goes out to anybody that's in in pain or going through troubles. You just just have to grab a hold of God and hang on. And I honestly, other than just through the prayers of people like us, I don't see how people make it that don't have God. Because I have to grab a hold to Him and I have to hang on tight. Tony wants to know how you got that job, Tammy. <clears throat> well, Tony Z, that was only by the grace of God, too. I worked at what we call J.P. Stevens here, and I worked a 12 to 8 shift, and my daddy, he always wanted me to get a day shift job. And I told him I would. I said, I will, daddy, I promise. And when he was in the hospital... <clears throat> and he died the next morning I said okay Lord I got to have a day shift job because I promised my daddy I would get one and I went to the unemployment office and I applied for Parker and they called me that afternoon and asked me could I go take a drug test and I said sure I can I went and took the drug test. They called me the next morning and told me I had the job. Asked me when could I start. <laughs> I 
So I told them two weeks, I'd work out a notice. So when I went back in and told my boss man a week after daddy died, because I couldn't, I couldn't work after he died. I went in and I tried to work and I cried and cried and cried and I just went home. He said, tell me how long you need. I said, give me a week. I'll be all right. Anyway, when I went back to work, I told him, I said, I found me a day shift job. And he knew that daddy had wanted me to get one. And I said, uh, so I'm putting in a two weeks notice. He said, uh, no, you're not. He said, if you got a day shift job and they ready for you to start, he said, you can start when you get ready. So I told him, okay. I said, I'll just do a week then. So I did a week's notice. And um, that's the only place that I ever worked that they actually threw me a party <laughs> when I went to leave. I don't... <laughs> It's kind of funny. I don't know if they were so happy to see me go or, <laughs> or they was proud for me. But, but I think most of them was proud for me. You hmm? did have some inside help getting that job. At Parker? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny just reminded me of something. Of course, I still give God all the praise and glory, but one of the ladies that worked in the unemployment office she graduated high school with us, and um, I'm sure she had a, a good bit to do with me getting the interview, so I still thank her for that. I've, I've thanked her for it before, but um, years ago, because I've been there fixing to be 30 years, so it's been a while, <laughs> but um, yeah, she um, got me the interview, and I mean, I'm talking about within two days I was hired, so it was um, it was a blessing from God, and He used people that I knew to help me. So, and it's provided for our family. It's been good. It really has, and it's gonna have to provide a little longer. Good Lord willing. Tell them when they see you retired, they'll know the stock market went back up. <laughs> oh, Bloomin', that is horrible. I found some little kittens one time when I was real little. I don't know, five or six. And they was newborns and they was dirty, so I gave them a bath. And y'all, I, I killed them. I didn't mean to, but all three kittens died because I guess I drowned them or they was too young to have a bath. And that broke my heart. Sorry about that, farm wife. But y'all don't get me wrong, I, I work at a good place. It's been better, but it's a good place, and I really like what I'm doing. But know where you work, do you like everything that goes on all the time? But you know how to do everything there, don't you, Tammy? All but about six jobs. There's they about, about six things that I've, I've never done. But they've had so many people leaving until, if you know how to do something, they pretty much want you to go back and either do that to and what you're doing, and that's just not in my, my criteria anymore. I do good doing the job I'm doing. Yeah, Thelma and farm wife, that back pain is something else. I, I have problems with my back, but, you know, it's something I have to learn to live with because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Y'all talking about fur babies. 
Yeah, those fur babies that we was praying for, I'm still praying for them. I wonder, I wonder how they're doing now. I'd have to go back and look and see what their names was, but we had three fur babies we was praying for. And I'm still praying for them, so maybe, maybe it's working. Maybe they're still okay. Yeah, it will, Miss Kathy. Thank you, Jesus girl. That's sweet. Well, my motto is, is when I lay my head down on my pillow at night, I want to be able to sleep. I want to know that I tried my best to do what was right, regardless of what other people does. And that's what I try to live by. Mine too, DJ. Seven back surgeries and two neck surgeries. Lord, have mercy, love and life. So sorry. Thank you, Bloomin'. That's a good way to be. That's right. As long as we got some pain, we know we're still living. <laughs> mm. So see, we all got more in common than what it seems like we do. We all got some kind of pain. We all got some kind of hurt. We all want to share love. <laughs> so, we have a lot of things in common. Y'all, it's so good to see all of you. There's 250 people in here. It is awesome to see all of you in here. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the $39.98 chat. Um, we just thank y'all so much. I thank you for the likes. There's 150 likes. And um, like I tell y'all every time, I still need subscribers. So I thank you to the new people who's come in. And um, I thank you to the ones who live so far away that they hang with us. <laughs> Um, even when it's late, so maybe I'll try to get a little bit better with that, but, um, it just seems like it just happens a little late, <laughs> but, um, I love all of you. Danny loves y'all. We are just, we're so proud that we have met a lot of you, or all of you, for that matter, and, um, we just like to share our thoughts with you. We like to hear your thoughts, what you got to say. Yep, one thirty in the Ukraine. Well, I don't know if that's the Ukraine. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's the Ukraine flag or not. But anyway, Karen says it's one thirty a.m. where she's at. So, and I know it's late where Jim and Monique is at. But thank all of you. Ooh, blooming, bless his heart. I've had to work two jobs before when when we were first married and Danny worked, but I hope and pray I never have to work but just one again and good Lord willing it won't be many more years. But anyway, I'll continue to pray for y'all, all of you, and the names that's wrote down and the unspoken and um let's just pray for Rusty to have a safe trip a pleasant experience for his mama's home going and pray for his son 
And um, y'all continue to pray for us because we need it. And remember my sister. And I also ask y'all to remember um, Derek Page, my um, pastor's stepson. Um, he's the one that had um, thyroid cancer. And they did surgery. And I think they're going to have to do some more surgery. But anyway. I know something needs surgery. Um. Just a minute, Mr. Man's telling me something. Yes? Dave, you sure thought that was your sister and wrong. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I got something I need to straighten out because I don't know if they're uh, listening or not, but if Dave and Cher is on here, they actually thought that the person that passed away was my sister. They thought the uh, lady in Rome was my sister, but it wasn't. It was my mama's sister. It was my Aunt Joan. And um, me and my sister, Dina, we went up there. And um, But I hate that got mixed up. No blooming. It won't be 62, I don't think. <laughs> Good thought, though. But no, it won't be 62. That's just in a few more days. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Man said, tell y'all when the stock market come back up, then I'd be looking at retirement. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry, Dave and Cher, but just wanted to straighten that out. My sister doesn't feel good right now. She needs prayer, but it wasn't her. And I only have one sister, so me and her is about all that's left and, and our little family, so... But, like I say, we love y'all. It's good to see you. Y'all just don't. Um, <laughs> Loving Life says, Danny's so bad. And she's got little cry faces and hearts. <laughs> oh, all right, y'all. Y'all all have a good night. We love y'all. We'll see y'all in the next video. Good night.